making safety improvements to your commute. The MBTA is detailing its progress on the issues raised by federal investigators. Anna Myler is live at the Broadway station with those details on it. Brianna, the MBTA says they have made safety changes and that they're meeting all deadlines laid out by federal transportation officials who began scrutinizing the T after several concerning incidents. Take a look at this new video showing the moment last September when a red line train derailed here at Broadway Station. You can see the window of the car pops out and smoke begins pouring through the station. More than 40 people were on board, but no one was hurt. The MBTA says they are making progress to increase Increase safety for riders and employees, including ensuring all active rail transit employees are certified, prioritizing work on tracks that have speed restrictions. This past weekend, 500 feet of new rail was installed on the orange line between Back Bay and Mass Ave, allowing a speed restriction to be eased and addressing staffing issues at the Operations Control Center by launching an aggressive hiring campaign and reducing the hours current staff are working to allow for necessary rest time. Originally, dispatchers could work 20 hours on and four off. We have now changed the rules where they can work 14 hours in a 16-hour period. They are now um, taking mandatory one-hour breaks. NT officials say that addressing the staffing shortage has been challenging. They're bringing back three workers who were recently promoted to different roles. They're also working on bringing back recent retirees, and they're hoping that this aggressive new hiring campaign helps them get several new workers. Reporting live in South Boston, Anna Myler, WBZ This Morning.